Claire, open your eyes. Claire, wake up! Claire. Barry. What happened to Moira? Was Moira with you? Mary. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. She's... I tried to save her. I should have... No. Moira. Natalia? Are you okay? Hey, what happened? Natalia, sweetie, where's Wesker? She went somewhere else. Oh, okay. Well, what matters is that you're safe. Wherever she went, we could still catch her. Alright my friends, welcome back to my walkthrough for Resident Evil Revelations 2. This walkthrough is being played on survival difficulty and I'm showing you the location of all the collectibles. This is the very last chapter of the main campaign and it's going to be a long one. So the first tower emblem, right up there use your sniper rifle to shoot it. There are 6 tower emblems for us to collect in Barry's campaign. And also six insect larvae. However, because Capcom likes to be very sneaky, depending on your actions on the previous chapter with Claire, you will only be able to obtain five insect larvae on this chapter with Barry. So, you remember early on in the game during Claire's chapter, there's a lever that you have to pull, which determines where the water from the drainage facility comes out. Well, if you push that lever, you'll be able to access one insect larvae. If you don't push the lever, you'll be able to access another insect larvae. You can't access both in the same run. So mandatorily, you'll have to replay Claire's chapter Either push the lever or don't push the lever, depending on what you did first. And then you have to play the start of Barry's chapter once again to obtain the last insect larvae. So on my first run, I'm only going to obtain five insect larvae. As you can see, that side is flooded. If I hadn't pulled the lever, it wouldn't be. But then this side right here would have been flooded. So unfortunately, we we'll have to replay this chapter twice in order to get all insect larvae. What I'm probably going to do will be at the end of the chapter, when I conclude this chapter, I will make a small separate video show the, showing you the location of the other insect larvae. I really don't know why they decided to, that doing this was a good idea. I guess it's to force people to replace chapters, but really, it seems rather pointless in my opinion. But that's the first insect larvae. Remember, you'll only be able to reach that insect larvae if you push the lever 
in Claire's chapter. Even though you have plenty of time to conclude this chapter. Like I said, this chapter is the opposite of Claire's chapter in terms of length. Let's take care of this guy. And I ordered Natalia to come with me. Where is she? Natalia, where are you? Oh great, she got stuck. Yeah. This is the problem of having an AI partner. You see, while you can dodge these enemies and escape them, the AI isn't capable of making the same decisions and of course Barry comes running in. And so I just wasted a little bit of time there. But it happens sometimes. I can't tell you how many times my AI partner gets stuck somewhere and I actually have to travel back to get them because otherwise they won't move I, or I have to take control of them otherwise they will just stay there and get beaten up to death which is incredibly frustrating let me tell you especially in boss fights in boss fights the AI just keeps getting hit all the time and it gets really annoying after a while. I don't have a problem with co-op if I'm playing with another human player who kind of knows what I'm going to do. But sometimes playing with an AI partner can get really frustrating. I prefer the single player experience a lot more than to have to take care of an AI partner but we managed so far so only one more chapter to go so we're good I shouldn't go on ahead come on Natalia so now this next area can be a little bit tricky we have to push a bunch of levers to move an elevator around so that we can get out of this area. It's like one of those cranes you see in junkyards. End of the road. We'll have to climb up the crane. It's a long way down. There's also a tower emblem for us to pick up here. I'll show you its location in a little bit. It's on the other side. So, first things first, pull this lever. So that's lever number three. To call the elevator all the way up here. Put Barry on the elevator, switch back to Natalia and then push the lever again. And now move Natalia to the first lever and push it. Actually move her to the second lever and push it. Oh, and I forgot to get the tower emblem. But I can get it from another angle, so it's not a big deal. I'll get it in a little bit. Yeah, I'll get it from the upper floor in a little while. So now make Natalia go to the first lever and push that one as well. You can skip this part. Uh, just make sure Barry's in the elevator, of course. Well, you can actually skip this part, but there's a, a bottle for you to pick up, and that's why I'm making her push lever number one. Otherwise, you could just skip pushing this lever. So yeah, an exploding bottle will be needing 
quite a lot of bottles in this chapter so the more the better and now once again push lever number two and now actually i need natalia to push lever number three <laughs> sorry about that so yeah instead of having her push lever number two just make sure she pushes lever number three so that you move further down you need to reach those steps right there so yeah now we're good Nothing to pick up here. And yeah, let's head down. Sometimes this can be a little bit confusing even for me. And now we're going to put Natalia on the platform and make Barry push lever number four to make Natalia come to us. And now, once again, we're going to switch Barry with Natalia. Put Barry on the platform. And we're going to push lever number 5. But there's a hidden item here. Very hard to reach it, though. Come on. This thing is blocking its path, so it's hard to actually point at it. It's really frustrating. Oh, and let me just get the tower emblem. It would have been easier to get it from the other side, but you can still see it from here. There we go. Tower emblem number five. And now we're going to push lever number five twice to move Barry to the other side and then push lever number four again. And that way we'll be able to Get the file and collect a shotgun, even though I'm not going to use it. I much prefer using the handgun in Barry's chapter because picking up the shotgun so later on in the game, we probably won't find a lot of ammunition for it. So just pick it up, but then switch it back with the handgun. Because really the handgun is more useful in this chapter, in my opinion. If you are replaying this chapter for the second or third time, you might have a little bit more shotgun ammunition. So, then the shotgun might be a better weapon. However, like I said, in my opinion, the handgun works better here. Move once again to the platform. Press the lever number four. And now move Barry up. And we're going to place Barry in the platform once again. And move platform number 5. So that Barry can reach the other side. There's a few insects that appear after you do this. But you can avoid them. Let's hope the AI is smart enough to climb the ladder on its own this time. Follow me. Come on. There we go. Good dodge. Okay, this guy breaks the window, but in doing so, he actually creates a passage for us. So wait for that afflicted to turn around. And yeah, now you can move to the next area. Natalia is close enough that you'll be able to do this. And now we're headed towards the mines. Very annoying section. Without a doubt, a very annoying section of this chapter, this the the but line. we'll manage. There's a facility down below. I think that's where we'll find her. Is your memory coming back? It's hard to describe. I don't remember this place, but it feels like I've been here. Well, it's okay. These things take time. Don't push yourself. Have a 
here of chasing scraps. I won't stop until I have all the answers. Okay, there's another hidden item in here. And another one there by that barrel. There we go. Let me get this. Pick everything and now we're going to get the next tower emblem. Tower emblem number six. So what we need to do is go all the way to the end of the rails and the tower emblem is located inside one of these cards on the back of one of these cards actually so here it is just use your knife spare a bullet and now let's jump to the other side and we're going to head down to collect the second insect larvae in this chapter it would actually be the third one but like I said you can only obtain five depending on the decisions you made in the previous chapter. Like I said, it's, it's really annoying to me that pushing one lever really affects the fact that you can't get all the collectibles in the game. And, and what for, really? There's no... Like, if it was a big change to the plot, like letting Mora kill Neil and use the gun on Neil, I would get that, that makes sense, but something so little as to get one insect larvae, I think it's just Capcom really being dicks, honestly. That's the She-Wesker, all right. Don't you worry. Together, we're stronger than her. I like how Barry calls Alex Wesker She-Wesker. <laughs> but yeah, she really wants Natalia to die. But then again, shouldn't she want Natalia to stay alive? Otherwise, how is she going to fulfill her plans of transferring her mind to Natalia. So now in the next section we need to be very careful. In areas where you see smoke, you can't stay too long in the smoke, otherwise you will die. And that can be very annoying. So you have to try and move as fast as possible in between the areas with smoke. Sure few machine gun bullets here, don't forget to pick up those. All right. <coughs> Hold your breath as long However, as you your can. characters you will quickly recover once house. you get out of the smoke, as you can see here. So now, take the left path. Take a little break here to recover your health. The screen will start getting more and more grey the longer you stay in the smoke. So. Just move as fast as possible and you should be good to go. Have an explosive or incendiary bottle prepared here. Take the right pet. And now of course, just to make your life a bit more difficult, there's a bunch of afflicted or what's left of them standing here. So we need to quickly move to the other area and push this lever so that we can move to the next area of the mines. Come on, Natalia. There's a hidden high team right there. Right there on this side. Let's kill the afflicted. And let's head down.
out of my way. Now as you open this gate, there's a bunch of them that get up and damn it. Usually I'm able to dodge them without too many problems, I'm gonna get hit here. Imagine that, two smacks and I'm already injured. That's certainly frustrating, but it's okay. Like I said, I, if you have a, an explosive bottle to spare, throw it and get rid of those guys. Look for a way down. Yeah, really, usually you can pass by them without too many problems. I messed up there for sure. I should have dodged to one of the sides, and then I would have been able to dodge them. It's not a big deal, but you won't be coming back to that area, so that's why I I try and avoid wasting ammo there. Because trust me guys, if you're not replaying the previous chapters after you conclude them and you're moving from chapter to chapter non-stop and I like to think that I've been saving my bullets and so on, you'll notice that by the time you reach this chapter you might not have that many resources. So you'll want to save them as much as you can because otherwise... By the time you reach the final area, things can get a little bit complicated. Let's burn that guy down. And are you not going to burn down? Apparently not. Stand down! I hate you, renegades. That guy's still alive. I thought that the... I would have thought that the... Firebomb bottle would have finished it off. Usually it does. I don't know why he survived there. Just my luck though. Because the weapon that I really need for this section is the sniper rifle. So wasting bullets really isn't a good idea. In this area there's a few more custom parts for us to pick up. So let's get those. And let's hit this guy in the leg. Reveal its weak point, and now we can let Barry do the rest. Just don't stay in the smoke too long. There we go. And now let's move up. And we need to move that small crate across the room. So that we can get a key card. Come on, Natalia, get out of my way, please. Oh, come on. I can't pass with her there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Get out of my way. Thank you. I swear, Natalia, I like you and all, but if you start pulling stunts like this during the entire chapter, I'm going to start getting annoyed. Because she's made some Sheva like decisions. Sheva is a character in Resident Evil 5, by the way. Associated with really bad AI for most people. I know most of you know this, but nonetheless. And Natalia in this chapter, she's been acting a little bit like Sheva. I mean, first she gets stuck in the stairs. Now she gets in my way. I can't even imagine how the final boss fight will go. But we'll cross that bridge once we get there. So yeah, we need the lift activation key. Sorry, I called it a uh, key card. Don't have enough empty slots now. I need to get rid of a few things. To be honest, I'm carrying a bunch of things that I probably won't need at all. Let's hang on to this key. But I guess it's fine. Oh, there's a few sniper rifle bullets there and a file here. Again, I'm giving you enough time to read the file. But, like I said, I, I can't take my sweet time reading each file myself. 
because of the time. I'm already worried that you you have about I think if you finish the game in even over an hour or if you finish this chapter in over an hour you still get an A rank in time but I already wasted a little bit of time waiting for Natalia and especially in that first area when Natalia got stuck in the ladder with the afflicted around her I wasted quite a little bit of time there if we can get her working, I might clear out the so gas. I actually need to move a little bit faster here because I can get into a few problems if for some reason I don't get uh, at least an A rank in time. I'm sure I'll get it but nonetheless in this area just climb to the top of this platform as you can see there's a bunch of afflicted or rotten I actually think these ones are called rotten but they'll try and climb the platform but you can knife them that way you save a ton of ammunition and if you've upgraded your knife power I have then it won't take you long at all to finish them all off okay and now we're going to take this path first there's a chest for Natalia to pick up here let's let Barry catch a little bit of fresh air. Well, there's no fresh air here, but let's get Barry out of the smoke and keep pushing this cart until we reveal this passage. And now it's all up to Natalia. We need to open this chest. It's got three locks on it. Of course, it's got a lot of locks on it just to make things a little bit more complicated. And if you see the screen turn gr turn gray then that means it's time for you to turn around catch a little bit of air and then come back we managed to do it on the first try so that's good and now let's move to the next area I'm being extra cautious here because I really don't want to die but I could probably make it to the other area without having to come upstairs to the platform but I'm just being extra cautious here now in this tunnel right here you don't need to come here but there's a diamond shaped gemstone for you to collect right up there and it's worth 2000 points so it's worth it I guess But like I said, if you're trying to conclude the chapter as fast as possible, just ignore it. You really won't need it. And now it's time to go to the other side. Again, we have to push a cart and there's going to be an insect larvae for us to pick up. Just just my luck, of course. Barry is full of items. I, I really need to take remove a few things at this point because it's starting to get old me not having enough space to carry anything else what can I get rid of here I most certainly won't need that many herbs and I can, but then again I can just combine the bottles and pick up the herbs again so there we go and I'm surprised at how clueless the villagers of the Iceland were I mean, really, they only figured out that they were carrying bodies now. It's really their own fault. There's an afflicted there, or a renegade there. Let's throw an incendiary bottle and try and burn it down. And now let's jump back up. Recover our... Our... Health and 
Really? He didn't die? Come on. Usually a firebomb bottle finishes off these things. I really don't know why that guy is still alive. And it's running like a moron. Oh goodness. Sometimes it can get a little nerve wracking. How this game works. Really that afflicted should have been dead. Or that renegade. Okay. But now what we're going to do is get the insect larvae, pick up this brick, run all the way back inside, run around the cart that Perry just pushed. You need to leave enough space so that Natalia can move through the car. And that's the insect larvae and now we're going to collect another magnum for Barry. It's not a good weapon though in my opinion, so just pick it up and then switch back to your default magnum. Even though this magnum is a little bit more powerful, it doesn't have as many slots, so it's really not that good like I said. And now we're going to take this side, go all the way around. and. Pick up a little bit of ammunition, much needed ammunition. And there's also a needed item for us to reveal here. Where's Natalia? There she is. But it's just a gemstone. You get so many gemstones, it's truly absurd. I want ammunition. And yeah, we have to fight that guy again. So use the sniper rifle to shoot it in its core, sometimes it gets that big claw thing in the way and that can be annoying, but let's just keep shooting it. On survival difficulty this thing can just take so much damage, it's absurd. So it will probably manage to get close to you before you can finish it off, so we're going to use an explosive bottle to keep damaging it. Just die. That was close. It's just absurd how much damage this thing can take. Now, you can probably move to the area above without having to kill these enemies. I'm just being extra safe here. Like I said, I most likely could have probably dodged them. Let's try and hit them in the core. Missed. Or actually, I hit him, but not in the darn orange orb. And I'm wasting bullets here at this point. Just stay still. Come on. Ugh. What a waste. Let me try and use my magnum instead might actually work better. Well, look at that, it did work better. You could, I could have moved upstairs, run past them and the, I probably would have been alright, but oh well. What's done is done. Now we need to push this lever so that we can move to the next area. And let's head back down. It's amazing how Claire's chapter was done in like 12 minutes and in Barry's chapter I'm pretty sure I'm well over half an hour by now. I could have divided this section into two parts but it made sense to keep them together. That way you guys won't have to look at two separate videos but Nonetheless, it's a really long section. So now we're going all the way around. And come on, Barry, move it. There's another enemy here, but we're going to avoid it. 
not going to waste any bullets on you, sir. Since we don't need to come back. Oh, whoops, I forgot these guys appeared. <laughs> Let's just throw a bottle though, try and burn them. Come on. Very... Come on. Got smacked there once. Because I got pinned to the wall by them. And now we can finally get rid of the annoying smoke. But it doesn't really matter because we're going to head down. To a mansion no less. Alex Wesker really liked to live in the darkness. Oh, a few magnum bullets. For once this game is generous. Nice. And let's head down the elevator. Remember, you need the lift activation key. Might be our ticket down. Get Natalia inside and we are heading down. Why does Wesker have it in for you? I don't know. I only talked to her for a little while before I got really sleepy. And I guess the answers will have to come from her. Okay, so now we're going to get that tower emblem. Just point up. There we go. Tower emblem number seven. Only three more to go. And this is actually going to conclude this section of this chapter, my friends. In the next section, we'll clear out the mansion. Did you? I don't know. 